Okay, uh, plan of attack for this weekend would be to um, remove everything out from under the floor pan that's left. Fuel lines, brake lines, so forth. Handbrake. Um, finish grinding off the welds from the floor pan. And um, degrease and clean up the underside so I can uh, spray on the body deadener. I'll see how I go getting it all done. It's a long weekend, so I might be lucky. Anyway, no good talking about it. Time to get into it. Thought while I was here, might as well show you the rest of the goodies I picked up last weekend. I um, have my dash recovered through rare spares, and I'm uh, more than happy with the job they did. Very good. Also, you Americans probably know all about these. Um, had these imported over from America. They should pull me up quite nicely. Have all the adapters and so forth to bolt them straight onto the 240Z struts. Should be good. Well, I've got it all bare. It's, uh, everything's out now. Yell out if you think I've missed anything. Now it's uh, a matter of fixing up some little bits and pieces like uh, this section here. It's a bit dodgy. Fix up these things before um, I go too much further. As you can see, you can see daylight through here. So I zap those up. And then uh, cleaning off all the grime, spraying the body deadener on. Sounds easy, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, all right, guys. This is where I'm at. I've um, scrubbed the underside, so it's just about ready to put the body deadener on. I used uh, soapy water for the fact that um, if I use uh, wax and grease, Prepsol. Uh, remover it's going to dissolve the tar that's already on there and I don't really want to remove that because it's uh, already a good body deadener what I did find is an unexpected rust hole in the front um, chassis rails so while I'm waiting for the uh, floor pan to dry I might fix that it's a cold day today so it could take a while Alright guys, she's done. It's been all, uh, all the body dead deadness applied. Still wet at the moment, so it's all shiny. Actually used a bit more than I thought I was going to. Might put one more coat on tomorrow after it's dry. Um, after that, I'm not just haven't decided what I'm going to do next yet. I'm going to start cleaning the suspension up, ready to put back in. Might fix um, everything down low before I put it back on its wheels. Still got a bit of rust here to plate. Can't really do that while the tar's still wet. Maybe I'll take the rest of the day off. If anyone's interested, this is what I uh, use to apply the body deadener. K&H uh, Seaguard water based anyway I'll um, get back to you next time I'm doing something maybe tomorrow cheerio thought I better tell you what I'm doing today I'm uh, 
fixing all the rust that's down lower than the sill panel. Well, it's upside down still because I hate welding laying down. It hurts sometimes. It's got that bit there. Wee bit in the back corner here. And that bit there. Shouldn't take me too long. Alright, catch us later. Marked out from the old section. I just gotta cut that shape out. And uh See if it fits. Okay. Here's the old trusty tin snips. Don't feel like grinding today. It's just a uh, fraction too big, but it's always better to be too big than to be too small. You can always uh, grind a little bit off. Bit hard to add some on. Okay. Okay, I got it fitting. Best idea is to have a um, probably one two mil gap all the way around to allow allow for expansion and contraction with heat. Um, but don't worry if it closes up on you. You can always uh, cut the gap back in with the angle grinder. Stop warping. Okay. There you go, it's uh, tacked in. Just got my welding helmet outside because it's just gone a bit flat because I left it in the dark. It's charging up in the sun. What sun there is. Hey Nathan, if you're watching, I'm chewing nicotine gum. Hmm. There you go, it's welded in. Actually looks a bit messier on the camera than what it actually is. It's actually pretty flat. Once it's ground off, you barely know I've been there. Well, two to go. On to the next one. This one's pretty messy. It's going to need a bit of thinking to saw it out. But I'll get some of the paint and crap off from around it and we'll see what's really there. Okay. Alright, uh, this is what I come up with this time. I'm actually going to uh, shape it and cut it as I'm tacking it in. Okay, yeah, it's a bit of a weird shape, so it's probably the best way to do it. Okay, that's it, worked out nice. Okay guys, I'm going to have to pack up. It's getting a bit late and I'm getting hungry. I didn't get as far as I wanted to because I found a... Uh, nasty rust hole in the um, rear wheel arch. I didn't think it was quite as bad as what it is. Got it half fixed, but the um, rest going to have to wait for another day. Got that one done. Just a little bit of a tidy up on that corner. Tiny little spot there. And front seal section. Okay, I'll uh, catch you next week.